Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. This is very exciting for me. Uh, we're going on the off-site backup facility attack. This is for a really decent chunk of intel and a couple of actionable leads. Uh, this is part of the Exalt storyline, I guess you'd say. And it's exciting because I don't really know what to expect here. Uh, so that's kind of fun. We're going in, like, totes blind. Uh, Toaster is coming with us. Speaking of totes, eh, get it? Never mind. Angerbot's there, for obvious reasons. Uh, Galanin, Bumblebee 6, and Stargrave. A lot of flashbangs here, and by a lot I mean two on multiple people. Uh, we've got some Master Grenades, some Smoke Grenades, Advanced Launchers, Mag Cannons with Talons. we got Sabo Rounds for Galanin. Uh, let's rock and roll, shall we? Let's see what happens. Now, the sit rep is adding some timers, lower advent forces. Uh, that... I don't know if that's gonna matter. Hopefully it... hopefully it does. Today's trivia question. At the end of episode 40, which soldier had the most wounded... or has been the most wounded or damaged on the most consecutive missions? A. Marcel Musion Schmidt. B. Boulanger Toaster 42. C. Iveros Buzzkill Baptiste. Or D. Boltos Yggdrasil de Greer. The answer? Well, it'll be at the end of the next video. And the log today comes from Nick Lean, who's writing for Shiblin Guardian Wilcox, one of our field medics. Seen a lot of action lately. He uh, says this. This is about pre-Avenger. The ten who are selected have to give it everything we have. Otherwise, the dream of a free Earth, a free humanity is over. This is our do-or-die moment. I can't let everyone down. We'll win. We'll show the Chosen that's attack was a mistake. It actually ended up being a heck of a lot closer than I was hoping. <laughs> but uh, obviously, if you're watching this, you know that we survived. This position has been compromised. We haven't... Uh... We haven't had an extra unit for a couple missions from the... Okay, that whatever that is, that looks really far away. Okay, maybe there is no timer. Okay, that is great. Look at the flyover. It just keeps going. We have one entry point across this bridge. Man, we have two people with concealment. Bumblebee, we picked up this... Uh, Covert Infiltration skill, which is pretty cool now that we have High Alert active for uh, the foreseeable future. It would be insanely cool if we could get everybody um, across this bridge. I'm a bit concerned... Oh man, this area back here is actually really big. We may want to just clear that before we progress across the bridge. Neutralize all... Enemy targets guarding the facility. Now, I don't know if that means Exalt are going to uh, drop in as they historically have, or if they're just going to uh, be here. Angerbot, uh, we're going to do this one repair because I've got nothing to lose there. Ferocious, too angry to die. I mean, that's something we could keep in mind, I guess. Is this an ex... ex yeah, okay, we can evac in this mission, too. Servos engaged. I hope it's worth it. All right, toaster. Engaging Overwatch. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right. <Come> <laughs> That's going to be very annoying. <laughs> That's going to be very annoying. See the face of your ruin. I guess if I had the choice, I'd rather face the warlock than a ruler. The elders so. must have caught wind of our operation. Fair enough. In one of the chosen. We should try to track that thing down and deal with it before it causes too much trouble. And we might be able to pull off uh, some shenanigans here. I'm all over it. With uh, Bumblebee scouting yeah, for us. Hello. Ooh. Nice little grouped up situation, eh? I like he. Watcha. That gives us the 
possible detection alerts if we want them, which we definitely do. Moving. Is it clear? On it. Clay Six Wolf's biggest struggle is um, is his mobility. Oh, jeez. Okay. I haven't seen Pathfinders for a while, actually. We're probably going to see smaller groups. Oh, look at this. I wonder if they're going to trigger here. Robert Lee, Norse Valheimstein. Stin. Oh, that looked good, but too bad for that tree. Just in case is there. Ooh, we'll take that. Shotgun blast. Oh, that is beautiful. That's one down. This looks like a Psy operative here. We still have our two concealed units up front. Uh, they definitely won't remain concealed for too long. Love that. 77. It'll be interesting to see if those... The description says it's always going to hit. I'm not convinced that's the case, but we'll see. I will sacrifice you for the Elder's blessings. Okay, now the question is, does Galanin stay here? Um... I am unfortunately only hitting one there. Callisto, I'm gonna leave. This is a Psy operative here, so things like Soulfire would suck. Schism, I just saw. Guaranteed damage and rupture, that would be not super ideal. Um. We are a little short of hitting Norse Valheimstin back there, who's got the sword. So he's probably assault-based. Justin's probably like a... He's a sniper, if I had to guess. Um, hmm, interesting. Got Wrecking Ball. He's got Relentless. We only need the shotgun blast here on the spectral. This one is primed, so that's something to consider. Here we can actually target. Face off, lightning hands, all of that, death from above. Norse Valheimston vanishes. Ooh, Shadow Step, Blade Master. Yeah, that's scary. And I presume if you wanted to, we could run right in here. Okay. This is a tough call, but... I think I'm going to move Stargrave here. I might activate the rapid deployment for the flashbang. I can reach those two now. Can I hit these three? Yeah. Uh, uh, sort of. 
I can definitely hit two. There we go. I could hit all four. That feels okay, and then I could follow up the shotgun shot on the spectral. I still have two problems here, but... I suppose I can... Wait to see what happens there. Come on. I'm not going to be able to clear all these exalt for sure, so... Back to Valhalla. Yeah, so now Toaster, here's the thing. What is this? Supernova. Oh, this must be part of his uh, proficiencies. Yeah, no longer suffers any stat penalties from Reboot. And dash to a location, overload the reactor, dealing immense damage to all units, and then the pioneer is stunned. Whoa. That's kind of cool. 16 damage! What? Bro. And then he would be stunned. But he would clean up those two. Or these two. I just... I'm wondering if that damages him as well. I actually think I would probably target these two in the back. Look at, look at how almost perfectly they've spread out. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I think I would go for this, which means the flashbang may be a little bit preemptive, but I didn't even notice we had this skill. The psyop, I'm hoping with the disorientation that that's going to limit some of the skills. And then... Toaster's probably immune to some of the stuff that Robert could do anyway. And those other guys probably shoot at him anyhow. Let's go. I'm very interested to see how this goes down. Uh... Okay. It hit Robert instead. Uh, did I do something wrong there? Is that about... Going through cover or something? <laughs> okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool. So six. If we come up, what do we have? Not a whole lot. I could position six over here to um, zone suppress this group, maybe. What's over there? Does she have half covers full? Nope. Let's bring Galanen back. There's something happening there. That thing's gonna blow up. I guess that'll be okay. Potential she could clean this up.
Okay, that supernova kind of didn't obviously pan out the way that I was hoping. I should have checked to see what we we're going to shoot at here. God, I wasted that zone suppression. Couple of bad order of operations things we should have done differently there. But this, that whole supernova thing caught me off guard. This guy's aim is going to be pretty impeded. Plus, we're going through full cover. Good. There is another bridge there I'm seeing that could be a potential flank. Wow. Evac hunker down. Very nice. And they're not even going for toaster there. Oh, boy. Pretty low percentages, thanks to that disorientation. I, I'm guessing that supernova is something to do with um, them having cover. Uh, kind of like grenades. Some of them getting blocked like that, you know? Oh, he's stunned for a turn. <laughs> Not an action. Learn to read. Sixty nine, sixty eight. Not awesome. I can't really flank here, so. I'm kind of going to be in this weird pattern, I think. I'd like to reload. I'd like to shoot and then suppress, but I can't do that here because of the ammo. We're going to have to suppress a bit. Enemy locked out. I'm thinking we actually try and take out the cover down there. Who's scarier? That's the question. Well, I can't even see this cover, so that answers that. Oh, that explodes? Okay, I'll take that. We're learning so many things! We're learning so many things. 69. It's a good number. Unless it's a shot percentage, then it's actually pretty horrible. Ugh. These are rough. I can't move her either. That's the problem. Mm. I'm going to combat protocol here. Shots are so low. I might just go for the kill on one of these. I could hunker down, seeing as how this sniper really enjoyed shooting at her. I feel like he's going to drop like a face off on us or something. But then I've got Bumblebee and Galanin as also targets. But actually, they might be far enough away. Maybe not there. Yeah, maybe not. Who are we bonded with? Six. I just don't have a clean way of, of getting across here right now. Let's take the 33s, rely on the full cover. Oh! Hello. Okay. That changes things. Not, not the greatest. Oh, sh twelve percent. Oh no, she's in trouble now. Because now he's not disoriented either. Oh 
Oh, I'm concerned about just in case. Oh, hello. Here comes some guaranteed damage. Frick. Is that rupture? Oh, soul steal. Face off. Okay, that actually worked out great for us. Did that? Did that Psy agent not? Okay, yeah. Okay, I was. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Okay, not the end of the world. Um, that shutdown is. That's a really cool mechanic. You, we only get it once. But I do like it. I'm not going to come here and burn the, the teamwork. So I'm just going to continue looking to hit one of these. Some t one of these is going to hit. Get it together. Copy that. Suppressing target. I'm convinced. We could try and use this opportunity to move up. Um, Got to be a bit concerned here that that guy might have a flank. No need to ask twice. Uh oh, Is this triggering something? I've got eyes on advent crew. Oh, frick! Okay, they didn't trigger, so that's not horrible yet. They're coming in hot. Damn it. Now I now I definitely don't want to move him up. That's for sure. You can slowly whittle this guy down. Okay. Oh, this is, uh, again, the game where percentages don't matter. He's actually moving. He's moving into worse cover. Just wants to get something done. That Archon that we saw, that's going to cause some problems. If we can kill the, the Spectral here, that's set up to Rupture... No, no, this guy's too far away, forget it. Are you ready to be redeemed? Okay, those guys are still not live, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bring in the pay. This is the live rupture. What are our percentages here? Gotta take this. Gotta take that. Bridge is not gonna last too much longer. I mean, I might as well just keep punishing him. So he's got that sustain. Tell you what, let's heal here. Overwatch. 
There we go. I wonder why he's only dealing four to the mech. That's two hits that he's only done, or sorry, he's only done two. This is a flank. It's gonna be not the greatest chances. Oh. I'm telling you, man, I don't know. I don't know, man. Sometimes I feel like we just, we just take shots now and it's like, who cares? Who cares what happens? Let's kill him. I would love to be able to um, try capturing more of these guys. Ready to rock. Oh yeah. I really would. It's just it's hard because first of all, in a mission like wait, do I not have a tree here? What the? I thought I had a tree for cover. Have I just been standing here? What's over there? Jeez. Got it covered. A uh, mission like this, it's tough because I don't know really what to expect. And we saw a group there, so I, I don't, I don't want to send someone. Basically, you have to send someone out to try and capture them, right? Because you got to carry them out. There's mods that we can use to kind of change that, but then it feels a bit weird. So. Oh, there they come. At least they waited. Oh, shit. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. Nice hit. We do still have overdrive from Toaster. Ouch. That's embarrassing. He hit it for seven right there. Seven. So now that we saw that group right here, I'm even more hesitant. We're gonna need you to start landing these, please. Beautiful. I don't know how much that was, but it was a lot. It was a lot. I am tempted to just overdrive here. And then if we trigger that group, we trigger them. So I'm wondering... Yeah, so my impression was it said all strike attacks would get plus two. I thought that was going to include the shield bashes, um, but it doesn't. So I guess the reactionary shots we still benefit from. But it, it also, it, this is percentage-based, so that, that needs to be cleaned up, in my opinion. Doesn't ensure every attack will hit. It does not ensure that. That said, I think this is a decent time to do this. There we go. Oh my god, that's a lot. Oh my god, that's a lot. That's a lot. Line up for me. Line up for me. Pounce. Oh! Sick. Just absolutely deleted a purifier. Okay, now Magma Snake, uh, not great. 
Maybe I go for some stuns here. He could counterattack, I suppose. I didn't think about that. Love it. No armor penetration. Advanced trooper is definitely annoying. I think the snake would be more annoying. God, that shield bash is actually insane. Oh, and a turret. I think I still have a movement action. Yeah, I do. So what I can do is is uh, pull back. Or actually, I could even... I guess I'm, lo I'm looking for a spot where the turret won't be able to see me. And I can kind of threaten others. But I I'm a bit concerned that we might pull another group as well. And the Chosen as well is back there. Um, if I was to line up, like, somewhere over here, then I could probably next turn use a, a Blast Canister and an Incinerate or something. I don't love Bumblebee's position. This this concerns me a little bit. I think for now, we look to bring her over here into Already full. There. Our zone suppression's off cooldown, but those two guys aren't going to matter. It's just the purifier. Maybe what we do here, we get rid of the cover. Oh, six can't see it. Come on. I'll take it from here. The 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 the, 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 the trooper could come down and maybe flank. Always a risk. Nice hit, though. Hard target, minimal damage. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Made protocol, our friend here. It hits the muton as well, but I'm not super concerned about that at the moment. He did come down to the spot we called. Woo! Spark unit under fire. Nice. Get some of that kinetic plating going again. This isn't going to matter. Might actually hurt them more than us. Oh, he's sapping the trooper. Thanks. Take that. I wonder if uh, Trell could poke that guy, one shot him. Punch. Nice. It's a 77. It's a 77. That's pretty good. We have this play that we talked about. I'm 
going to start with this. Don't know if... Yeah, I can still reach here. Let's go. I think that's going to be out of range of the... Uh, of the turret, like, positioning-wise. I don't think he's going to have that. Nice. A wire is not that great. Uh, we are still going to have a muton uh, problem. I could blind. It's not a bad option. I got a spectral problem here. If I'm going to do this. This would be our best bet. See if Stargrave can get it. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so now... I need 10 here. It's not impossible. My chances are decent to hit. But if I go here, my chances are less decent to hit. Let's go on the Muton. Ooh! Guys, they're doing it. If you say so. Um, this is not the most exciting way to use teamwork, but it's the way I'm using it. We'll uh, zone suppress them. And then Angerbot uh, attempting to come here to maybe get into a sort of healable position. I don't know. I think I maybe just baby her a bit until we can do that safely. Sixty-nine again, our unluckiest number. Love that. Love that. Nice hit. Nice hit. Beautiful. Chosen's getting closer. But I can basically stun this guy out of existence. Oh, nice. There we go. Finally started landing. I am nearly upon you. So, uh, one thing that we did change, and I don't know if it's working correctly. So, before, when the Chosen spawned, they wouldn't replace a pod on the map. Uh, so, we removed that. But we added something called Chosen Entourage. But... I'm not seeing him with an entourage. I don't know how that works exactly. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be working the way that we might imagine it. So I'm going to have to look into that. <laughs> Watch this purifier explode in a really bad position for us. Nice. Ich liebe es. My expectations for them were exceedingly low. Go, go, go! Bring Angerbot here. Okay, I'll go. 
I don't think this is in turret range. Oh, I don't have the... That's too bad. I'm a little concerned that he blows up here. If I'm being honest. Let's see if I can stun him too. It's a 50-50. Nope. That twitch at the end, I hate it. That is not good. <laughs> that is not good. I'm trusting you here. Do I think this purifier can get here and flame this group? No. Well, he might try, though. Oh, nice shot, dude. MVP right here. I feel like Toaster may steal it by default, but... We haven't seen the, those reaction hits miss, so... I don't know. Maybe there's some behind-the-scenes stuff happening. We're green to go. Reloaded. Interesting that Toaster can actually see the turret. Because the turret can't see the Toaster. We're very likely to have uh, those little dudes spawn here. Get out. Hostile threat destroyed. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Those little dudes being the warlock minions. Oh, now he can see it. What the f- That's weird. Okay. At least he doesn't shred. Let him have it. That was not even- Oh my god. Uh, you know, it happens, man. My power will wash over the battlefield. Okay, so here's the thing. Do I really want to run up there and shield bash that? Not really. Ooh! I'm trusting you here. It's time. Yeah, I definitely got that one. I'm ready. He still looks like he was a bit below, right? On approach. Well, that's certainly one way of getting there. What the hell? Where is he? I mean, he's here, but I can't. Whoa. Okay, something's weird there. I don't like that. Okay, so what do we have? We have some grenades, because that's what we rely on for killing him. We have acid grenades.
And we do have two of them. It looks to me like that's all of the enemies. Oh, she could actually have just dashed and got everything done in the turn that she needed there. Oops. Copy that. Stepping off. Overwatch mode. Cleanse this world in the name of the elders. Advancing. Where are you? All right, I'll go. Already there. I don't want to group up. But I'll kind of do it, I guess. Optical sensors on Overwatch. I have no clue where he is. He might be in that field. Okay, he's, yeah, he's in the field. Oh, we got him. He's live, I think. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, he's immune to melee? Or no? No, he's not. Something's weird with the with, with this roof and toaster specifically. Like look, this is the only spot he can move. And I can't actually can't even move him there. That is super weird. I'm going to check and see if we can send him here and see if that Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. You guys might have seen a little spoiler for uh, showing which mocks are in the crew there. We had to add back the dark VIP pool that we didn't re-add mid-season. Okay, so I kind of feel like if I was here realistically, then... He should still have been able to move over here, so I think this probably works out okay. Um, I wish I had a better way of shredding this guy, but I don't. Oh, you know what? Our f incinerate might... No, it doesn't. I don't think they get stunned either. But let's see. Oh, there's more! There's his entourage! Oh, it does work. Uh, don't love that. Don't love that surprise. Wow. Okay. So that's something. Now I need to stun him. Oof. <laughs> okay, toaster. Holy frick. Okay, so maybe that thing is working. Or maybe this was an extra pod. I'm not sure. We don't know. 
but he is uh, super dangled. I still have people to deal with here. I'm going to move um, Angerbot just out of vision, hopefully. Where is his other... Uh, did we... Oh, maybe we killed one. He's got Shadow Step, right? Yeah. We could still apply the Suppression. But I'm worried that he's going to do some... Okay, we don't have a Mind Shield. Add Shields to an ally. Teleport. Mind Control. That would be kind of bad. I think I'm just going to break Vision here. Same with Stargrave. We're going to look to... Oh, oh, that's actually beautiful. Can I hit this guy too? No. All right, this will do. He can teleport, so I guess, like, the cover's not hugely important. I'm worried about going up to this roof now, because if we get locked into place like Toaster did, that could be a bit awkward. I could look over here, maybe. Maybe just do this. Oh, he took the full five there. Full four. Full four. Full five and full four. If you guys are curious, too, that little uh, console command that we did with Toaster there, it's called TTC, which is like teleport to cursor. You can use that if you ever get stuck, as long as you have um, consoles enabled. That's the modding group, one of the big things that they taught me this year. Among a billion other cool things, but... This guy should... This should be pretty inconsequential here. Just looking to see if I can hit both. Um, I could just move Toaster. So that counts as shell shocked as well. I wonder if the if the blast or if the incinerate counts. Because I kind of just want to go in for the punch. But I'm curious. Let's see. So no. Did crit though. Acid and burn, I don't think he could get nine. But I am very curious to know if I could get a grenade toss through here. I don't think so. Halte mich nicht zurück. If this lands, it's game over. <laughs> Am Ziel vorbeigeschossen. You have to do better. I know. Thanks. I'm literally trying my best. What's over there? I'm gonna see if Angerbot can 
hit this with a grenade. Oh god, the turret. Oh god. Don't love that. She cannot hit it. Whoops. She's at 13. I don't think he could do anything that would kill her here. See, this roof is all... Something's messed up with the... You can't even place your guys on it. Let's just take her here. Uh, six. Unfortunately, I don't have a good spot for you either. And an Overwatch isn't going to help. Okay, I'll go. But I'll do it anyway. To Three from Acid. To Two from Burning. Oh, ah, uh, the army. Yeah, I for actually I forgot about it. I forgot about that, and now she might be in big trouble. Okay, continues to land. I like that they're both coming towards him, that's good. Uh, they've literally abused him. They have abused him for cover. I'm surprised. Didn't we get? Didn't shouldn't we have had an extra turn there? Because uh, he got attacked, so then he gets the reflex action. So we use that to move. Gets the free blast canister. Even though this is now saying it ends turn, uh, it hasn't in the past. That's weird. Trell has a promotion. Probably use her grenade now. Uh, I'm going. See ya. He's by far the easiest chosen. Oh, nice. I was a, that actually at the start it was a little dicey there, but it was overall a pretty straightforward mission. I'm just not able to confirm if those guys that we saw at the end were part of his entourage. The only thing that makes me think yes is that they didn't. They would have come towards the the sounds with yellow alert, right? So maybe, maybe that is working as intended. 29 of 32. So, what? More turrets, maybe? MVP on toaster. Yeah, ha, I mean, it's hard to argue. But 6 hit a bunch of really impressive shots. 11 for 12, 111. Angerbot, 4 for 8, 32. Trell, 7 for 10, 56. She missed a couple of key ones, but... Bumblebee, 4 for 6, 26. Clay, 6, Wolf. Yeah, he missed a lot, but there was a lot of those just tossing back and forth into full cover against that Pathfinder. Stargrave, 5 for 8, 65. Yeah. Cool. It was a cool, it was a cool mission, story-wise. I seem to remember in, in uh, MOCX campaigns we've run in the past, they do kind of culminate in like a big battle with a whole bunch of MOCX units, I think. I realize how unsure of it I sound, but...
least we know these chosen can be killed. Oh, we know. Temporarily. Okay, Marauder. Ooh. 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 Restorative repair for a bunch of reasons is pretty good. Psionic feedback can panic targets and increased against psionic enemies. Could be really good, too. But then, of course, like, Marauder is really nice, especially with anti-armor doctrine. I think right now, though, just having extra heals for the sparks and repairing uh, point of armor, I think that's going to be very important to us. Trell... I think we got to take precision out of those. Got some alloys there. Hello. I'll take that. Look at all this good stuff. That's great. Facility leads, intel. Hell yeah. The only thing that could have made that even better, it would have made it even more trivial, but if our if that supernova would have landed on the targets. Um, I wonder if I misclicked, but I think it's probably because they were behind... Uh, cover. So if it would have brought him forward a bit more, then probably would have got him. Okay, I'm getting close to crew max. I have 16 alloys. I think I need 30 for another spark, which I definitely want to build. In the new month, I can buy alloys and build another spark. So that'll be nice. Uh... Plated vest, hazmat, stasis. This is this is not bad. We could queue some of these up because we have so many cores. Could also get into some of this stuff, maybe. Or even some of the heavy weapons. Heavy strike module for the sparks, I think would be nice. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Oh yeah, these happen instantly. This upgraded nanoscale vest grants additional two health to a soldier, and its built-in medkit IV will automatically restore health to wounded soldiers. So that's nice. Um, the basic nanoscale right now is giving two. So I wonder if this is like two plus two. Maybe I should whip out a couple of these. Hazmat. Soldiers gain additional health boosts and are completely resistant to fire, acid, poison. That could be good to throw on like a Templar early until we get Fortress and stuff. And then Plated Vest is just going to be probably armor, right? Let's do one more. Oh, nice. Armor plating providing increased health boosts. Not something we use all the time, but we do use a lot of vests. So these are just better. Better versions. So I'm happy about that. That's fine. Now, we do have a new month coming here. Uh, we have somebody staffed for power because of the training center being built. We have gremlins there, gremlins there. I'm just considering maybe putting somebody for wildcard slots, but I also don't think it's that important. Maybe additional contacts soon would be great. Um, we, are tr we are trying to up our intel game, and we just got a bunch... Um, we're researching a data pad as well. Trying to reduce contact cost here. This is the warlock. He'll and he'll definitely be here. <laughs> and exalt. So it's almost like this almost a very similar mission type that we just had. We do have 18 available. Let me look at the list real quick. We did say we wanted to bring uh, Grenadiers or Sappers and Templars, so we're going to wait for Nosferatu, I guess. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but having the Templars out and having our having any faction soldiers out is pretty nice. Although with the, the mod update that happened, we don't require faction soldiers to remove dark events, which hopefully we can get into next month. Avenger plotting new course. 
Reducing contact costs will make our intel go even further. We had some wounded soldiers nice. requiring treatment after that last covert action. A few days later, we'll be ready to get back into it. We've recovered another crucial piece of information about the Chosen. The Resistance found a way into the Chosen stronghold, Commander. Our troops are ready to deploy. We should launch a strike as soon as possible. Yeah, killing that hunter would be sick. So let's think about this, okay? So you'd want to take out... So it's multiple attacks in a turn. You'd want to take... Uh, skirmishers. Obviously. Um, somebody like Clay Six Wolf, who can shoot twice. Um, Sparks, who could overdrive to shoot multiple times or hit multiple times. He's immune to melee, but either way, you could use blast canisters, whatever. Uh, we do have a mod called Populated Chosen Chamber, so those fights in the chamber could be a hell of a lot more interesting. Um, yeah. I mean that's something we could we could go for. I think we need to wait until we have um, everyone available that we want. So let's just take a look at that. I mean Boltos, he's ready to go. He is ready to go. I need six wolf for sure. Double shot there. Um, give him some time to repair. Or other spark repair. 39 hours, that's nice. Yeah, but outside of that, like, we don't have a ton of double shooting. I guess you could argue, like, sappers even are decent with salvo because it's still multiple hits in a turn. I don't want to be overconfident. Our last few missions have kind of been... How can we say, like, edge cases? The types of missions that they've been have been a little bit uh, different. So I don't think we're getting the full effect of the changes that we made quite yet. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. It is unfortunate, Commander. Anti-exalt ops. Have proven to be so... Mediocre. Dude, that was a pretty good month, minus the whole Avatar project progress, but what am I going to do? Don't love that. Additional dark event. <sighs> okay. Rapid response, bad. Extra chrysalids on most missions, bad. I mean, they're always there anyway, so I wouldn't even counter that, I don't think. And then signal jamming could be pretty bad. Reaper factions improved. Let's take this. We might change that later. Um... Getting the extra power, I don't know if that's gonna be that important. We could use we could use our supplies to upgrade it. I'd love to be able to get infiltrate going again. We'll do as we're told. I do feel like this month we're probably gonna have to do a uh, an alien facility. Course. We've been able to hold off till now, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to continue holding off. Oh, we have new Covert Ops I should look at. Oh, more Sabo. Great. Okay. There's an Illyrium Core there. What's cool is... Um, we can just send any Colonel, obviously. That's always been the case. But... Um, we now have one. <laughs> and the time isn't even that, isn't that long like seven days but then you do gotta you gotta prep for an ambush that's the worry 
that we're not going to go for this. Like, it's not something we need, but it is cool that it's there. Unlock a mission to steal important documents from a training exercise. For Exalt. Hmm. I would send out three soldiers. One to negate a capture. And then we would have three if it was an ambush. Avatar project progress, definitely. Potential ambush here. Superior weapon upgrade would be nice. Meld, no. Breakthrough, workbench construction, no. And a promotion here. Tempting. Alright. This is our first one. We negate the capture, for sure. Chasu with Predator Armor, Basic Mag Cannon, Gauntlet 2, maybe even the Stasis Vest. Yeah, see, everything's getting that plus one, which is super nice. That's pretty good, actually. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. I think maybe I'll send him with a plated. And a flashbang. And who else? Maybe I could send Brunton out to fight on some of these. Really struggling with using assault infantry, as you can probably tell. Maybe a marine, too, for... Uh... That AoE suppression. She's close to a promotion as well. I think I'll keep her with just the regular sawed off. And I'll give you like a regular vest as well. Still a moderate ambush chance. We haven't seen a lot of them this season. But I feel like damage-wise and with the amount of tools these guys have, this could work okay. Let's do it. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. 11 days on this one. So I need a lieutenant. We have quite a few. Uh... Ambush and capture chance. We're going to negate that here. I need a sergeant. Let's bring uh, Shiblin. The old Shibster. I'm giving them weapons that don't have attachments so we can keep those for other missions. Thinking combat engineer. Weather girl's back in 44, so I could send Emika. Mag cannon. I think we have two gauntlets. Something like that. And then... Bring a third. Maybe we bring Bobo. Let's give you the exalt guard gun here. And maybe a med kit. Oh, we already have a medic. My bad, my bad, my bad. Flashbang. Let's do that. Yeah, definite couple of definite ambush chances here. My will do 
whatever is needed. Promotion would be great. Who do I not need in an upcoming mission? It's near the top. Suppose Beardo is a pretty good option. Boltos we want to have on missions. I don't know why he's not getting repaired all of a sudden. I do have other sappers that can fight for us. So maybe Beardo we send. And you can go with... Uh, go with Gilleth. Gilleth is close. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Okay. Now, um... Is our Templar back? I think he probably is. Three hours. Oh, and let me check engineering. What can I do for you, Commander? He was in there. So it's being repaired now. Good. All right. Okay, training centers coming to fruition. We're now entering what I would say is like the third act of the game. Yeah, here we go. Give me something good. What is it? Alien Infiltrator. Okay. So, it's covert action, then infiltration. It definitely would take some time. Um, my understanding was that this requirement was still supposed to be quite high and maybe it well no yeah this should this should in my opinion still be higher rank but any soldier i don't know i'll talk to um the mod maker tesla rage about that uh yeah we can negate capture there's definitely a major chance of an ambush though so you do want to build for this I'm just, I'm just not super concerned about Alien Infiltrator. So I, I, I'm going to wait to see what other ones might pop. Okay, Thorn Daggervane has recovered from wounds. Market is open. Okay, they're looking for mind control gems, wide angle nozzles, and mind shields. Yeah. Aren't we all? Uh, you can have the wide angle. A couple of those. Uh, data caches. I'll sell one. Stun lancers. We could sell a couple. Priests. Faceless. Purifiers. Shield bearers can all go. Love that. Sell a specter. Mutons can all go. Scions. Officers, good. All of our extra weapons and stuff. Six, six, six. If that's not a sign. Alloys. Thank you. Um, I'm going to need Illyrium soonish. Could get another engineer. Although I feel like for 95 intel, that's, that's asking a lot. Okay. 
superior laser sight. What's Panacea? Strap one of these bad boys in your weapon to unlock its true lethal potential. Sure. Heals an ally's body and mind with psionic power. Has one charge. Okay. Now, I want to keep at least 80 intel. Oh, what's blend? Oh, this looks cool, too. Uh, we do have... Hold on. 33 hours till we get more intel. So, let's actually go ahead and buy it. Immediately grants concealment that is automatically broken after two turns. Useful for escaping a dicey situation or getting another youth out of surprise. Concealment will break at the start of the player's turn. Oh, that's neat. I don't know if it's worth the money we just spent. Alright, so now I wonder if it's not best that we do this. This gets us further through the chain. We fight the Warlock. Uh, it's an exalt squad. It's gonna be very similar to what we just did, albeit probably with a timer. But the warlock would freeze the timer if we can reach him. Um, we get an engineer out of the deal. And we get closer down that chain. The other option is trying to fight the, uh, the hunter and actually kill him. That would be really cool as well. But I'm thinking we, we're gonna do this first. Uh, yeah. So Templar, shell shocked. Let's do it. Setting course for the Arctic And uh, I'll build out the Templar to have a grenade as well. We'll give him that that fortress vest. Okay, baby. Oh, yeah. You're not going to be able to carry all of that, are you? What kind of gems do you want? Now, I'm... I think we need to have stasis for stasis shield to be an option. But I don't think that's going to work. Mind control is probably not going to work because we're not graded or anything. Domination, no. This can work. Maybe panacea. Could help for some healing. And we'll give you the hazmat vest so you can say who cares whatever you run through. Uh, reactor does have a bond available. Oh, you know what? Let's take it. After the war's over, maybe you can start your modeling career. <laughs> now, we're probably in a situation where I'm going to need to buy some gear because I've equipped a lot of uh, infiltrations or covert actions with, uh, with stuff. This is the Warlock, so Sappers here would be great. We'll see how we want to build that out. Uh, the thing is, okay, so I'm trying to picture how the mission's likely to go. We might not even have a lot of explosives left for the Chosen at the end. If, if we have to, like, fight against a timer and get out of there. Like to start bringing Pool Mother. I'd really like to see some of her higher level um, abilities here. She's paired with Schmidt. So we got a couple of bond pairings. And then I'm wondering if I bring uh, these sparks. We got bombardment there. We can fill them up with with uh, ammo and stuff. Oh, you know what I need to do? 
Oh, what's this? What is this delaying? Wild hunt. Yeah, that actually doesn't bother me. I'm so, uh, honestly, the chosen are here consistently, so we're creating a new spark. That's what I should have done right away, and I totally forgot. Probably could have had one. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Just gonna put that up in the chain. Okay. My only concern is not bringing a tech specialist. But that's life. Uh, is this a good idea? Or should I just bring a traditional sniper to kind of help hold things down a little bit? The only issue is that now that she's reached Colonel, like, her her personal gain is... There's less of it. Our next best sniper is quite low. We know 100% that the Chosen is going to be there, so I don't have to prep for, like, oh, maybe a ruler. I guess Zoe. Zoe's a not bad option to pair with J6. And then he does have explosives with overdrive. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's not outstanding. Don't I have any more flashbangs? Predator, predator, good. Okay. Cool mother, I think we'll go blue screens in this scenario. That looks nice. We'll take the bedded there, set up range and accuracy. I don't even know if that does anything. Schmidt has tanked so much damage this season. I feel like he deserves this vest. He can get a little bit of healing going. I'm just thinking, do we have the, the firepower here? That's my concern. Because, uh... Not having a marine is a little tough. Really depends on how we pull the groups. I don't know. I think these guys can probably do it. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, pool mother. What's your health at right now? 11? Ugh. Give you a nano scale. And you know what? Let's take an EMP bomb in case of robots. If there's like a big ass mech we can't deal with or something, then uh, we have that backup plan. And then just regular grenades here, I think are, well, no, let's go acid. Let's go acid. We also have the ability to remove cover with demolition, so. 
Advanced Arc Thrower. I hope this works. Guys, wish me luck. Nosferatu, Reactor 4, Musion, Pool Mother, J6, and Double Z. Uh, getting an Engineer, killing the Warlock, advancing that chain. Exalt Squad here. First reinforcements are delayed, which I guess maybe will be the Exalt Squad getting delayed. Not sure. Uh, I will not have anybody with concealment to scout, so that's a little scary. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how we can do. Oh, maybe... Hold on a sec. Maybe I should build... Oh, how much... How much is a mech? Do I have enough to build two mechs? <laughs> do I have enough to build two? I might. I bet you I do. I do. Should I just do it? Because I know I'm going to lose one. Then I could have a backup. But that means that if I need to do like an infiltration or something, then I won't have the alloys required to build their stuff. Let's see. I don't need to do it yet. I'm going to wait till this one's done. We'll see how things go. Because what I was looking at there, what prompted that is maybe I upgrade his auto pistol because um, he does have the skill for the better sidearm stuff. Are there any other abilities we might want? I mean, this is pretty good. Especially against the Warlock. Let's take it. God, he's got so many upgrades. It's insane. Fear of Cyanox, I don't love. Hunter of Mutons is good. All right. Anyways, I think that should be good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Whoa, that was weird. We'll see you in the next one.